Welcome. What I'd like to do is show you how to graph uh, this parabola um, by using our uh, conic sections as well as to identify the directrix, uh, the focus, and the vertex. And so the first thing we need to do is kind of identify what type of equation. Are, are we going to have a um, axis of symmetry that is going to be vertical or an axis of symmetry is that's going to be horizontal. And since that I know that my y is squared, I know my parabola is going to either open up to the right or to the left. Therefore, the axis symmetry is going to be horizontal. Therefore, I can use the equation y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h, where the vertex is represented by h comma k. And my focus, um, the distance from my vertex to my focus and the distance to my directrix is going to be equal to p. But typically, we just look at the, dis the p as the distance from the vertex to the focus, because it's going to be the opposite of p, but it's going to be the same distance, but it's going to be the, um, in the opposite directions to find the, vert uh, the directrix. So the first thing we want to do in this case is we want to solve for y. We want to get y squared by itself. So I'm going to divide by 3. And therefore, I have 8x equals y squared. Or you can write that as y squared equals 8x. Now, what you notice is there's no y minus anything or x minus anything. Therefore, our vertex is going to be 0, 0. Right? So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to write a nice vertex at the origin, which is 0, 0. The next thing is I need to determine what p is. Now, notice that um, 4p is being multiplied by x. So here, I have 8 that's being multiplied by x. So I can say that 4p is equal to 8. Divide by 4, divide by 4, p equals 2. Therefore, the distance from my vertex to my focus is positive 2. That means positive, I'm going to go to the right. So 1, 2. Now again, why am I not going up 2? Because remember, we identified since y was squared that the axis of symmetry is going to be horizontal. And the axis of symmetry is where my vertex and my focus will all lie on. So there is my vertex. There is now my focus. Now to determine the directrix, I'm going to use the same value p, but go in the opposite direction, which would be negative 2. And remember, the verte uh, directrix is going to be a line. Then I'm just going to estimate the path of my parabola. And you can see here, uh, to write the equation of the focus, all I did is I went from the vertex two units to the right. So I could say 2 comma 0. And if I write the formula for my directrix, notice that it is a vertical line. So I'm going to have x equals represents a vertical line. And you can see it crosses at negative 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a parabola, as well as um, identify the vertex, focus, and directories. Thanks.